What is going on Alex Rose? In this video I'm going to show you how to use a graphing calculator to find the solutions to this equation. So keep in mind the graphing calculator has two features which allow you to solve equations graphically. Uh, those would be the intersect and zero features. Now given that this equation resembles an expression being set equal to another expression, I would go with using the intersect feature. Now the intersect feature requires us to define two equations in the calculator, y1 and y2. And by default, I always allow the expression on the left to be y1, which means the expression on the right hand side is going to be y2. All right, I'll now go ahead and type these into the calculator. So we'll press the Y equals key. And in Y1, we want to type in negative two. So use the small minus sign at the bottom. Here's our variable X. To put a power of four on it, we'll hit the caret key. And we'll right arrow to get back down on the ground. Now plus seven. We will down arrow to Y2 where we'll type in 3x plus 1. And I will uh, use the standard viewing window by pressing the zoom button and then selecting option 6. And here comes the graph of y1. And there's the graph of y2. I'll come back to those in a second. Just want to sketch these out on my paper here. Just a rough sketch. Here's what Y1 kind of did. And then Y2. Did that. And it appears as though there are two points of intersection, one in quadrant three and one in quadrant one. So that would imply that there are two real solutions to this equation. And we'll use the intersect feature a couple of times to figure out approximately where they're at. I'll start with the point that's in quadrant three. We'll hit second, trace, and we'll select option five, intersect. And here's where my blinking cursor is at. I'm, I'm gonna move that as close to the point of intersection as possible, hitting the left arrow key. Oops. All right, so you, you usually don't land right on top of it, but as long as you're relatively close, that's good enough for the calculator. And now press enter three times. One, two, three. So we're looking at an intersection with an X coordinate of roughly negative 1.52 and a Y coordinate of roughly negative 3.55. I'll stay on the screen to help us find the second point of intersection. We'll start over. Uh, starting with second trace, choosing option five again. And we'll move the blinking cursor to around this area uh, of the graphs, which is near the second point of intersection. All right, I'm happy with that. So we'll go ahead and press enter three times. One, two, three. And we're looking at an intersection with an X coordinate of roughly 1.08, Y coordinate of roughly 4.25. So here's where I'll go back to my paper and just label those points of intersection. So again, this was roughly negative 1.52, comma, negative 3.55. And this is roughly 1.08, comma, 4.25. In terms of solutions, you're always going to keep the x coordinates. Okay, so there are two solutions, real solutions to this equation. One of those values of x would be roughly negative 1.52, and the other one would be 1.08. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions for me whatsoever, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.